Hello again, this is the Wiring Man. Now, after I did uh, the first, uh, well, there's a spiritual toolbox number 560 this morning. Um, while that one was uploading, I just let the uh, phone go in and I went out and I did another little recording while I'm driving through the forest and I stopped at a couple little lakes and, and just fished a little bit, about 10 minutes or something from the bank. That's about all I can stand, but um, out listening to the animals and stuff. And I did another little, just a little kind of almost a recap, but just a little bit of uh, showing, uh, enjoying life. Okay, and I'm calling this one, Let's Get Real While Enjoying the Morning. Here it goes. Machine gun at this lion stuff, and you get 
so bad. Such a dirty rock scoundrel state of mind that you don't even know what's the truth. Or you get all wrapped up, tangled up in all that Red Sea, the Red Sea. If you're on your stick of thinking, that's just one little bitty aspect of it. Lying. <clears throat> that, uh, oh man, it, it'll mess you up. Because then you tell one lie, and you got to tell another lie to cover that lie, and then two more, and then, huh? Or you just see it, just any deception, it's all. You know, even this, like, being ostentatious, pretentious, putting on a facade, pretending that man, I'm just a great guy. And inside, you got all kinds of stinking thinking. Well, that in form is lying. You're not being real. You know? Most people can say it in some aspect. They're kind of feeding into that stuff. You know, you can't get out. You can't stop doing that stuff on your own. But then, fortunately, in this storm to life, where God's bringing this storm for you, F-O-R, capital, all capital letters, exclaim, 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 okay? God's heating things up, putting pressure situations on you to help you get rid of that stuff by choosing Him and laying down that all those cares of the world, all that burden stuff, all that, like, golden, fool's gold plaque, that chain and all that plaques on your chest and all this Huh? All that nasty stuff that's putting a poop mark on you. God's offering to take it off. Little bit by little bit by little bit. See, your red dog takes it. Huh, he ain't taking it off quick enough for me. Therefore, I'm not going to do it. Or, you know, you can't have that, man. That one there, I'll put a lot of time telling it different into it. I ain't giving up on that. Come on, man. You gotta surrender it all. You might be doing that right while you're singing. While you're singing a song and you're going, oh, oh, you surrender all. Inside your throat, say, not really. Oh, you surrender all. Well, all but this. If it looks good to everybody else, then yeah, I might surrender it. But if it doesn't, and they don't know about it, I'm gonna hang on to it. <sighs> you gotta get rid of all that yuck. But you can't do it all at once. It's just whatever God's taking and bringing to the storms. So it's giving you a chance to like split that little bitty, like Adam, but it's really inside of the thought process, every little spot. It's like a little ball to get rid of that, that fleshly thinking. See, that fleshly thinking. And the Spirit of God is both in there. That makes up the soul. It's double-minded. Yuck. Thank you. See, a lot of people think spirit and soul are the same thing. No, they're not. They find that thing. Just like some people say, um, they'll say pride. I'm proud of you. Which one? What do you mean by that? You're arrogant, you're proud of them because they're number one, or are you proud of them because of their character, what the, who they are, how they did, are you well pleased with them, huh? Well, I so, say, well, you know what I mean, why don't you spell it out a little bit more plain, a lot more plain, huh? Because uh, if you're not careful, this stuff, you think, oh, it's just subtle, that doesn't really matter, huh? That's what your red way will have you thinking in these storms of your life. Keeping you all stay safe in my me, myself, and I. And you stay in your duality with your red and your green way. You're not green lighting God. You're red. How are you being led around by that red way? It's saying, it's all right. You're safe in me. You got a friend in me, and it's stabbing you. Huh? You, you, you don't want that way. You can't 
I'd split that little ball, that little like atom or a little bitty spot down in there by doing your way, your Lord of the Fly way at all. You got to give that stuff up. See, now Jesus is setting at the well of your heart, offering the way, the truth, and life all the time to remove that stuff. Huh? And it's periodically happening. So, um, <clears throat> as we go through this life, and we, we choose in the green way and we're growing in Christ. Um, mm. We choose the green way all the time. God, the battle is the Lord's. He's doing all the work. And you're increasing by God's grace, God's mercy. He's allowing you to be able to split that out and bring you back. His desire, His love, His passionate desire. Not for anger and wrath, but his passion and desire and work in Thumas is to bring you back to him, his way of thinking. To bring you out of this double minded state. That's your soul. Your soul is thinking, ooh, yuck. You know, a lot of people think it's, there's no different. They, they don't, they just want to polish the outside of the cap and look good and, and uh, spirit, soul, whatever. Uh, but, you know, unless you get in there and, and uh, experience this, you really can't come out of it. You know, suppress it at best and you're polishing up outside the cap, but inside you're just all messed up anyways. You, you're not really set free. God has to do the setting free. Okay, so um, know that God loves you. Whenever you come through these trials, that we need to be give thanks to the Lord in all things, not just the things that's hunky dory and, and tickles our fancy and makes us feel good. <coughs> huh? That's the easy peasy way. It's easy to choose God and say, yes, sir, daddy, whenever it's all easy, when it gets hard and God's offering a chance to bring you out of some of that stinking thinking that's embedded deep within yourself, that's the rubber's being the road, it's getting real with you, are you really choosing God or are you just pretending, because you can't fool God at all, even when you're trying to think you're choosing God, but you're really not. God knows it. You just deceived yourself. Deception comes from within, right? Like I believe that's Mark chapter uh, 7, verses 1 through 23, I believe. That's, I could be off on the recalling the uh, location. I think that's where it's at. If you read and study that, don't just skim it. Go in there and look at it. That deception is within you. God's offering to take that crap out. Wow, that's, I mean, that's, that's such a gift. You know? Well, do you want to hang on to your own stinking thinking? Or do you want to let go of it? Huh? Do you want to say, oh, I'm surrendering all of it. Look, I'm singing a song and I'm clapping my hands. And man, I'm here every Wednesday and Sunday. And all the other days, that's me, myself, and I days. And really, you're, you're not surrendering any of it. You're just maybe I'll suppress it for a few hours so that I can go in there and look like a good guy. And I'll wear my best suit. You know, you got to wear your best clothing. Put on your best facade. <laughs> Exclaim on the a big underline on that facade when you go to your church building. Put in your two cents. Uh, that's that's a facade. It's yeah, it's pretentious. Come on, man, get real. God's want to work inside your mind. That's where He's working. Because that's where the change, the true changes taking place in your heart, in your mind, in those specific spots inside each thought process, not outside. 
have. That's not with the kingdom, the ruling realm, the right to rule, the king that levels of the intimacy of the knowing God better, loving God to a more pure state, more purified state. That only comes with the Holy Spirit in it. Sanctified, purified spirit. And it, it brings you back. It copulates and accumulates you back in your thinking, in your mind. And it, it love with God, into oneness with God. And it's done that with, it's just a fire of God. The PYR, the poor, the purifying spirit, the sanctified spirit. It's not easy peasy way. That stuff you can agree, easy peasy time, but that's just like a, a changing the isotopes in a in an element. It's the same element, it's just different isotopes of that same element. It changes it a little bit, but it doesn't really bring it to a higher, more glorious, dense, weighty substance like of God's character. Like changing Hydrogen to helium to right on up the scale. You know, it's adding glory, the glory of God. And his grace, his influence is greater in this area. But only God can do that. And it's like when in the natural, that's done in the center, the dead center, right in the core of a star. Man, it's hotter to all get out in there. All kinds of pressures. Isn't that telling you in your life? God is doing this. Where is he doing this? Is he doing it in the easy peasy way? Well, you know, God's good. And I want to I want to but I agree that it's a good easy peasy way. And I can agree with him. He's good. If it's not, it must be the devil. Oh, yuck. Even in that, that King James language says, give the devil no place. Come on, man, it's not some fictitious monster outside you. Y'all lost control. That's a bunch of crap. Huh? That diabol di uh, Diablo, or Diabolus, I think is what I pronounce it. Um, that's an adjective. I mean, it's describing. And it comes from that balo, which is a verb. It's an action. It's an adjective and a verb. Come on, man. It's not some monster else on you. No, it's your mind. Don't be stupid. Don't be folding it. Maybe it's something out there, didn't you? And it's shocking you. Right in your mind. It's your own stinking thinking. Come on, man. Don't be a dumbass. Alright? And I say that stuff like that. The child is just like to shake out, do some earthquaking. God's doing earthquake in you to drive out so you can have an opportunity to drive out this stuff. So you get rid of all that man-made religious stuff and all this rebellious stuff and the good, bad, the ugly stuff. Because that stuff's not, not, not going to condemn you. Huh? And you're buying into this stuff and you're acting like a dumbass. That's what's messing you up. None of you see that man, I was being a dumbass. I wasn't speaking in the love of God. I was being speaking and acting and doing it and thinking and feeding into it, eating that crap, partaking in it. And that old beast teacher, my own stinking thinking. Oh, yuck, I want rid of that. Oh, you said dumbass, so you're going to hell. Yeah, we're turning God into this awful monstrous beyond anything, and we're going to say he still loves you, but we're going to, he's going to take it to him. That's just stupid. Huh? Don't believe that stuff. Come on, man. Think about it. Huh? Come on, man. Please. You know, God, huh? How could God love you beyond the mere description of words and do all this crazy stuff to ninety some percent and not even just obliterate them and do be done with it and 
beast of nature. Never <coughs> mind, I'm going to work, sir. <coughs> Okay, uh, now I was just out driving, I didn't have no uh, papers in front of me or nothing, but yeah, let's, in that, um, where uh, deception comes from within, that is Mark chapter 7, verse 1 through 23, okay, um, I'm just going to touch on the very last part of that, you can read and study all that other stuff, let me see here, uh, Let's read verses 20 in Mark chapter 7, verse 20 through 23, okay? I'm not going to delve into it real deep, but uh, let me let me just read that out of the New King James, okay? I'm not going to delve into all the, the original language and all this stuff, okay? All right, but let's just read the New King James. <coughs> New King James, Mark chapter 7, verse 20 through 23, okay? And he said, Who, What comes out of a man that defiles a man? Uh, verse 21, For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, they, uh, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and evil, I, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these things, <clears throat> all these things come from within and defile a man. The New King James right there in verse 23, or the King James in verse 23 all these things come from within and defile a man. Let's do a little <clears throat> translational comparison. Not going, not even going into the original language right now. That take you deeper. Give you a, a more in depth to understand. But then when God's bringing you in all these storms of your life, and you have to decide each time you decide. God is bringing it. He's annihilating that little bitty spot in your thought process. The stuff that was tricking you, shanking you, giving you the shaft right in the bad one hand. In your works, your air gun. You're stopping that. You're laying prostate at God's feet. So that deception be gone with you, you badass donkey. <laughs> you beat it, you dog. Right? God's annihilating it out and using that for rocket fuel, bringing you back into him. Well, I don't have time to do all the the translational comparisons, okay? 
Just look at this in the New King James. All these things, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. Duh. Where's deception come from? From within. I, I don't have time to take you into that. Uh, the thing for the devil, uh, diabolus, I think is the way they pronounce it. It's an adjective. And in the etymology, it's a verb. Hmm. I think I've done re uh, recordings on that. I'm pretty sure. Go back and look. It's not some monster, crazy monster stuff outside. Why well, this thing is just tagging on, tearing you up inside, shafting you, getting you. Stop it. Surrender that stuff. That's inside your mind. It's not outside. Hmm. All right. <coughs> All right. Now, it's like a chain, that fool's gold chain, all the way around your neck, and big old plaque on your chest, giving you a poop stain around your neck. Speaking of all your authority and power and might and stuff is wrapped up in this poop thinking, this red endemic way. You got a big old brown poopy mark all over you that you can't take off by yourself no matter what. But by agreeing with God, in these storms of your life, in that heated up, pressurized situation, he's making a way, truth, and a life. The way to take that off. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe to this channel, and uh, let me know how you're doing. Encourage me as I encourage.